Hey, how's it going? It's Josh, and today I'm going to go over a video on how to set up macros for your MIDI production. So, first off, a big shout out to Sonia Popovich for this question. Um, Sonia asked me on one of my other videos about um, some of the shortcut keys I, were, I was using and demonstrating, but um, Sonia wanted to ask me how to set up the macro. So, this video is for you. Um, and for others who don't know, uh, this will be very helpful to kind of give you the, the basics of it. So um, first off, what I want to show you guys is uh, this option here into your logical pro presets. Um, so you can see it from the MIDI um, in the top menu. And you'll see that I've created my own uh, custom ones. And then there's also a bunch of stock ones. So first off, um, we have here just a blank canvas. I have uh, a chord progression, kind of like a Philip Glassy um, progression here. So let's go ahead and play that. And I'm going to record some MIDI data. So I have that MIDI data recorded now and captured. And um, as you'll see here, um, it kind of has this ebb and flow. Now sometimes you might want to bring up a certain part or you might want to bring up the entire part like that um, by just using the mouse and you can highlight, drag, and so on. Now this can get pretty tedious when you're working on a three minute track and you're, you're just tweaking every little uh, individual instrument that you have. But there are ways to uh, get that faster. And so for instance, if I wanted to um, re delete this and start over, I could do that by going out and uh, F11, which is a custom key command I've created. Um, and then that would actually apply on a global level. So if I had like, uh, let me just copy and paste that so you can see. So if I had a bunch of these, then I can go like this. And any any information that's inside this um, locator will be deleted as such. Oh, I gotta highlight that. And you'll see how all of those have been deleted now. So that's one way to uh, to save some time. Um, but you know, let's say if I wanted to go, let me just go back into here. Let's say I wanted to um, maybe compress this. One way to do it is use your mouse and use this button and it'll compress that information. Um, but what you can do also is I can uh, create a command to compress it by pressing uh, a combination on the keyboard. I can do that or I can expand it so it goes uh, the other way. Um, so uh, let's let's go ahead and look into how you do that. I'm using a um, just a simple uh, math problem by dividing and multiplying. So the one I just used was called a uh, compression, and I just labeled it as compress global range for CC11. So any notes that are uh, or any MIDI tracks are highlighted and uh, are within the locator set. That's what this means inside cycle will be um, affected by dividing that information by 1.33. And so when you divide something by um, the a higher number, it's going to go down. Now you can also do the opposite. And I can say like multiply and then do like 0.75, which is 75%. Then um, that would do essentially the same thing um, or similar, but with the numbers uh, being a little different. And then you can apply that. And see how that compresses it down. Okay, so what I just did right now is um, I, I I created this already and I saved it and then put a name on it. And by saving it, you just go over here, and then you can put your name. Press OK. And then the next step is if I want to assign that 
uh, command to something, I can actually create a key command for it. So you can go over here. Uh, I press K. I have a key command for a key command. Uh, but in case uh, you're wondering where that is, you just go to edit. Um, actually, no. You go to files. You can go to key commands. And uh, from there, find that one that um, you were looking for. So uh, compress compress global range for CC11. And you'll see that is housed under the process logical preset folder. So going back to that, you'll see that I have that set to control out and the divide button. Now I'll go ahead and show you um, a more custom one. So for example, let's say I wanted to uh, change all of these velocities to something that's similar. So I'm essentially compressing all the notes down. Okay, so to do that, um, we're going to have to go back to our project, uh, our logical editor. And let's go ahead and pick something that's similar. So, for instance, let's say I do a subtract velocity notes. Okay. So, um, basically what this is saying is the type are notes equal to the notes. So, any notes that are there highlighted will be subtracted by four. That's what I have for now, um, which is a different key command. But what if I wanted to compress? So then we would um, uh, divide the value, which is all of, the, are all of these notes here. And then I'm going to go ahead and set a parameter, divide that by, or let's multiply. Sometimes that, that makes a little more sense to me. D multiply by 75%. Okay, so then I'm going to go apply. You'll see how that did that. Okay, I'm going to uh, undo that so we can set a key command and then we can go in real time. So let's go ahead and um, create a new one. We'll call it compress velocity notes. Okay. And then let's do one also for the opposite. Let's multiply and expand it. So if I wanted those notes to be expanded out so that they're a little bit uh, larger um, and, uh, and, and relative to each other, then we can do it that way too. So let's let's do maybe 33 percent, something like that. Okay, so you see how that all went up. I'm going to undo that and then we're going to make our new one called a expand velocity for note. All right, so now we have two um, new logical presets that I just made. So now I'm going to go back to my key commands. And on here, let's go find it. So expand velocity. The, that's the quickest way to search that. Or you can go over to the folder here and find it. So um, now let's make a key command for that. Um, just a, a quick tip, when you are focusing on certain elements, like for instance, this is the velocity, um, have it start with the same combination. So I have out, shift, and plus, or out, shift, divide, something like that. So I'm going to go shift, out, star. So this is for the expand way, and then do that for the other one, compressing. Now, what you can do is you can go like that and look notice, notice that all of that is being uh, compressed and that can go the other way and all of that now is being expanded um, <clears throat> another thing is uh, that's useful is the out shift uh, minus button will bring it down um, all relative to each other by negative four units and then if I do the other way out shift plus sign then I can go up relatively four units and you can set your own increments to that. So I have it set for four going up and down, but maybe you want more, maybe you want 10. You can set that easily just by going into that logical editor. And um, let me show you where I had that. So if I want to add four to it, I have it listed as four, but you can change it to 10 and do it that way. So all of those things are pretty useful to, and, and for me it saves time and it's more intuitive than, um, just using your mouse all the time. And plus, um, if you do that, I've noticed um, using the mouse all the time for uh, tweaking things can uh, uh, fatigue your hand pretty well. And, and uh, there's a slight possibility that you can develop things like carpal tunnel down the road. So for health reasons too, 
I believe uh, setting up macro key commands are really important. You can be very creative as you do it, but this is the basic foundation of a macro. And I hope that you guys learned something new today on this. Um, so Sonya, um, I hope this helps you. And also, what I was going to say is if you guys want to download a uh, free copy of this, the presets I've made for my own over the years, I'm going to have that available on the link below in the descriptions. Uh, in exchange, all I ask is that you guys uh, sign up for my mailing list, uh, which will give out tips on music production and composition lessons. Um, I'd love to share more of that to you guys directly through email. So if you guys are interested um, and to get that copy and to sign up for the mailing list, please subscribe. Um, and I will talk to you later.